So the halfway stage, round six then. And as if you didn't know, Muhammad Ali and Floyd Patterson, both former heavyweight champions of the world, and this is the really lively round, it would seem. And there's no larking about here from Ali. There really is, and he's done the toying and taunting stuff. He's taken a few punches from Patterson, and it looks as though he wants to go to work in the sixth round. Patterson lasted 12 rounds in the last fight. It looks as though he's going to be lucky to do it here. But that's what Ali gets for mixing it now. By coming to fight like that certainly would suit Patterson. He's lacking the height and having to have this 29 and a half pounds disadvantage as well. And when Ali comes to him, he has more chance with the counter punches. some damage around Patterson's left eye now. You just see him thumbing a bit of blood away there. And it obviously came from that flurry of punches because there's been no illegal head work at all. Well, this really is a punch-up in this round. And he keeps trying that big looping right hand there, Ali. Sets his opponent up with the left hand. There it is again. And then tries to chop down with a right hand punch. <coughs> sort of a ripping blow that Ali uses. That's how he twice cut Henry Cooper in their fights. thing is, when it comes to spirit and gameness, you can count on Floyd Patterson. Even though that blood now dripping from that right eye. And it's Ali taking him apart now. With half a minute to go in the sixth round. But if Patterson gets back to the corner and gets a bit of revival, who knows? He may go on a bit longer than this. But this is where Ali is trying to make every punch count now. There was no real big betting in this fight and you can understand why. So now here's the corner men. This is where many fights, of course, are won and lost in the corner. They're applying this ice pack round Patterson's face there. It can't be too badly cut because they don't seem to be using the adrenaline pads on it. But there's a fellow who's really taken a battering in that sixth round. An absolute dollar millionaire, but still... So you can see now that this left eye of Patterson's really is closing in the seventh round. It really is looking a bit grotesque there. And it, although that was a low punch, he actually slipped as he threw that punch. So you may get an apologetic uh, touch there from Patterson. But this uh, armistice will be very short-lived, I think. I haven't seen Patterson damaged like this in any of his fights. He was down 16 times in his two reigns as champion, but he really is being taken apart now. It's becoming a pitiful sight to see such a great fellow and at one time a great champion like this and the referee warning Ali for pulling Patterson on but unless Patterson now gets lucky and gets a bit desperate and tries to throw a punch he really has no chance I would have thought obviously that Patterson has trouble seeing these punches coming. It's 
bad enough to get out of the way of Ali's fast hitting when you've got two good eyes, but when one is closing, that really is trouble. And it's swelling fast, this injury. I really, I'll be surprised if it goes longer than this round. The referee may leave it to the end of the round. He may let the seconds have another look at it and call the doctor. And that is the desperation stuff now from Patterson. As you would expect, it's more of instinctive retaliation. Well, he still has the pride of not having been knocked off his feet. I'm wondering now whether this really is the last time we shall see Floyd Patterson in a ring. And I think, I suspect there's a little bit of compassion comes there with Ali. He's not, he's not really turning it all on. But on the other hand, he might be doing Patterson a favour if he does. So with half a minute to go then, this is the effort now from Ali. I think he wants to take Patterson out. There's no point in him really turning on this brutal punishment. And he's bleeding quite heavily now and the eyes swelling. And it looks, yes, the doctor's coming up now, and it looks to me as though he cannot allow this very game man to go on in this one-sided fight now. Dr. Edwin Campbell, New York State Athletic Commission there, up in the corner by our commentary position. And I really can't see how he can let this go on. But there you are, the doctor's far more qualified than I am to make that decision. but he's already asking Patterson how he feels about it. Well, obviously, knowing the pride of Patterson, he's not going to quit unless he has to. It's a tense moment now, and Ali's corner looking over to say what is happening, but it looks as though they're going to send him out for the eighth round. No, the referee quite rightly refuses to let this go on. And it just shows you how ignorant can the crowd get. They're quite upset that the referee has stopped this at the start of the eighth round, but I am entirely in agreement with the referee and doctor's opinion there. It really is a bad eye. It was a one-sided battle, and one of the great fighters of our time shouldn't be humiliated any farther. Uh, so now we'll try and have a word with both winner and loser. Okay, I didn't get permission. One of these guys needs to recognise me. Can I get in, fellas? Thanks. Well, the winner is you. 